Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial trying a bunch of new makeup that I purchased from Sephora. So the first thing I wanna go ahead and start off with is the Tatcha face mask. So I've been wanting to use it, but I was like, you know what, let me just save this for when I do the video so that I can kind of really give myself a nice pamper session. Um, so this is basically the Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. So this is the first thing we're gonna go ahead and apply. And this, mask is not cheap this i want to say is like 22 dollars i'm pretty sure so it's not cheap but let's get into it that's what the sephora sales for it's the time where you can really splurge on things that you may not splurge on the reg but this 22 dollar mask i'm like okay you better change my life because for 22 dollars i mean i could do a lot with that i could get a meal i could get my rosacea medicine <laughs> Like there's a lot of stuff that I can do with $22. Oh my God, it feels so cooling. I love it. And the smell is like very light. It's nothing crazy or intense. Okay, and the last thing I wanna do that I bought are the little rollers. And I'm just gonna be using this on top to kind of really make sure that I kind of press the product into the skin. The mask is really hydrating and moisturizing. I know a lot of people actually also really like to use this mask because it preps their skin for makeup. The fact that I'm talking about this mask right now is crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like these sheet masks are more so for during the day when you're trying to prep your skin for something. Um, I'm not saying you can't do masks at night because I like to do masks at night, but I feel like for $22, I'm like, I need to make sure that after I use this mask, I'm seen in the world or like at least I can take some pictures because we're in quarantine. I'm going to just let this absorb sink in for like 10 minutes and I'll be right back. I look so creepy. Okay, so our mask is off and my skin feels so refreshed. I'm gonna jump right into our next product. This is what I'm really excited about, the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. And I'm going to be applying this on my lips. I wanna see how this does. It has the, like, I don't like this type of applicator because I feel like I have to use my finger and like, it's just a lot. I'd rather not use my finger, so I'm just gonna have to do this for now. It feels really nice. It has this really nice consistency, um, but the real wear test is gonna be as the time progresses while we're doing our makeup because of the fact that I've noticed that with some lip balms, like as you apply them and as they kind of wear on your lips, they tend to kind of like flake up and just crumble up. So I wanna say this is gonna do that, but this does remind me a lot of like Vaseline. I feel like it's a little bit of a smoother consistency though. It's not as like sticky as Vaseline can be. I personally always have to apply lip balm before I start my makeup process because I feel like it not only hydrates my lips, but I also feel like it does a really good job of making sure that the makeup on the face stays away from the lip. The one that I've been using is the Kapari one and I really enjoy it, but I have noticed that it tends to crumble a little bit as I'm applying my makeup, so that's the only negative thing about it, but everything else I really love, um, and this one's literally pretty much done. So it was perfect timing for me to get this Summer Friday lip balm, so we're gonna have to just see how that does. I'm gonna be applying moisturizer. This isn't anything new that I purchased, but I've been obsessed with this. This is the Milk Vegan Hydrating Moisturizer. I really love it, and like I used a lot, you guys can see. But I do wanna talk about another product that I, um, purchased from the Sephora sale that I just used um, that like really was amazing. Let me grab it. That is this, the Moroccan Oil Intense Hydrating Mask. So I did mention that I wanted to purchase that. And that one I actually purchased because of another influencer here on YouTube, Taisha. She raved about it and she has such beautiful hair. So I was like, let me go ahead and try it out. It does a really good job of giving the hair that is medium to thick, very good hydration and just kind of making sure that it doesn't look or feel as dry as sometimes, you know, hair can be. And you guys know that I do have damaged hair because I did bleach my hair for years. Um, so I went ahead and used this last night. And let me tell you, this stuff is amazing. So what I actually did was I hopped in the shower, I did all my business, and while I was in there, I did apply this mask. And where I like to apply masks typically, I really drench those ends because I really wanna make sure that that's where I receive the most hydration. Um, so I did that and 
I feel like my hair, I was about to say my skin, my hair feels just so soft and silky. Um, and then what I went ahead and did is after I hopped out of the shower, I did my leave-in conditioner and my detangler and all that stuff. Um, and I just kind of let my hair really like air dry just to kind of like get all that wet, super duper wet hair, you know, controlled. Um, and then I went back in and I used my Revlon One Step Hair Volumizer, which I did a review on. I will have it linked so you guys can watch it. That stuff is amazing. So that's how I got my hair like this. Obviously, then I went to sleep. So it kind of, I have to go back and just kind of like fix some areas like up here. Because whenever I go to sleep, like my hair does get a little bit, you know, cray cray. So um, this is what the hair looks like post using this mask and also post using the Revlon One Step. I just love the fact that now it's so easy to do my hair and I'm telling you guys like, yes, a tool can do the job, but when you actually invest in good products, and I'm not saying all products are really expensive, but like some products are just really worth it. So now I'm gonna be going in with another product that I purchased, this isn't anything new, but this is my Precisely, my brow pencil in the shade five, and I will be just quickly filling in my brows on camera for you guys since this is something that I purchased, and also because this is one of my holy grail pencils. So if you guys wanna see an in-depth brow routine, let me know. I was thinking about doing one actually in Spanish, in Espanol, um, for all my Spanish speakers. So just let me know what I should do. I know I've done, a, I think I've done like two of them in English. So I have to see. Oh, there's a, actually another product that I want to try that I was actually just reading on. And that is the Patrick Ta brow, like the brow kit that just came out. Um, I think it's supposed to like mimic the um, soap brows. And a lot of influencers have been raving about it, so. I'm like, do I need it? And then I've been seeing some of the brows that people are doing and I'm like, wow. Okay, so the brows came out a little bit bold. You know what? I'm gonna just brush them. Just to kind of soften that part because I feel like sometimes that can really cause it to like look a little bit more intense. So yeah, I think that's better. Now that we went ahead into the brows, definitely recommend this brow pencil. Um, it just is such an OG and I feel like it's really good. We can move on to one of the parts that I've been looking forward so freaking much. I've been literally holding off on using this palette just because I wanted to really wait until I was on camera with you guys. So that's exactly what I did. Um, and this is my palette right here. I do quickly want to say, so some of you guys asked me like, was your palette like messed up when you got it? Because I know some people have that issue. And yes, it was a little bit messy in here. Um, so I did go ahead and clean. You can see there's some product right here, but for the most part, thankfully nothing was broken because when I was first opening it, I noticed that it was messy. And I was like, oh my gosh, please let it not be broken. Um, so I went ahead and opened it and luckily nothing was broken, which is great. This is the palette this is totally up my alley i don't even know where to begin so we're gonna be taking my smith 230 brush which i've been a big fan of um and i'm gonna be taking the shade nudist Ooh, that's a lot of pigment in there and i'm just gonna be applying this from one side to the other i woke up really early because i wanted to make sure that i got to film early just always feels really great when i'm able to wake up early to film early and then i feel like i have the whole day to wear my makeup and it's not like i start later and then i just have a few hours or sometimes i just have like no hours and i'm like okay time to take this off i'm going to bed now we're gonna go with eccentric right here and i'm gonna be using that a little bit tighter on the crease I'm just gonna start to kind of like build two colors together. I'm using another Smith brush, this one is the 247. And with that, I'm gonna be going in with the shade Aesthetic right here. And really gonna begin warming this look up. So then I'm gonna be taking the color Mink, which is the darkest color in the palette. And I am going to just be applying it at the very end, kind of make sure that it just has the most depth on this side of the eye. And then this side of the eye is gonna be more so focused on the shimmer. Okay, so now we're gonna be stepping into the shimmers. And I don't know why, but this color right here is really screaming my name. But now that I look at everything, I feel like this color is also kind of screaming my name. 
you know what i'm gonna go with lavish i was originally gonna go with opulence but i feel like i've done so many looks using something like that so i kind of want to go in with lavish um and see what that gives me i feel like supreme which is beautiful green shimmery and bronziana are beautiful but i feel like those are definitely more so for like fall um so now we're gonna be going in with my mac 242 and we're gonna be just going and doing a nice cut crease moment when i picked up this shade i was a little bit worried because i felt like it was feeling a little bit dry um not like my other ones where i can just swipe it and then i see like the product really come off i feel like with this one i kind of had to press it a little bit but i have to say that even though i did have to do that like the pigmentation here is on fire like that's really good pigmentation and i would say this color is kind of like a green gold like it it looks very beautiful on the eye so now that i've done that i'm gonna go back in with my um smith 247 brush i've been really into smith brushes they're so good and i'm gonna be taking mink and with mink i'm just gonna be applying it on this outer corner and still really allowing the color um lavish to do most of the talking in this eye look because Look how beautiful it is. That's pretty much the eye done. Every color worked absolutely beautifully. Like the colors in this palette are so beautiful. You can create pretty much anything with this palette because the shades are so wearable for day and for night. We completed the eyes and I popped on some beautiful lashes. These are the Batty Bee Lashes in Sugar Baby. They are one of my favorite lashes. For foundation, I went ahead and applied a foundation you can find at Sephora's. It isn't new, I've had this for a while. I actually did a throwback foundation review on this. This is the um, Hourglass um, Vanish Stick and I'm wearing the shade Golden. For concealer, I'm using the Beauty Blender Bounce Airbrush Liquid Whipped Conceal. And I actually really purchased this because I wanted to do a Latina owned makeup tutorial using some new products that I um, have found over the past few months. Cause I did film one a year ago, but I want to do an updated one cause I'm all about supporting my fellow Latinas because I mean, we're killing the game, Latinas and Latinos. Um, so let me read about this. So this is $26 and it is supposed to be a weightless full coverage concealer that uses hyaluronic acid and peptides to create a smooth undetectable finish. So let's open this. This is what it looks like. This is a really interesting applicator. It's kind of fat on one side and this other side is flat, which is perfect because I was like, is this all around fat? Because I don't know how I'm going to lay that down, but it works really well. And this is in the shade 3.40 Warm Medium Peach. So I'm going to be applying it on this eye right here. I think the color is perfect. I'm kind of weird about applicators. So now I'm using my Tati Beauty Blendiful to just blend everything out. Um, but like I was saying, I'm kind of weird with applicators. I like really big doe foot applicators the best like the one from tarte shape tape or the one from elf cosmetics those are like my favorite because i feel like they cover the most ground but this one isn't bad it's a little bit different than what i'm used to the applicator wise but other than that it's pretty nice it's giving me like a very beautiful like smooth finish down here which i always appreciate that oh. That coverage is really nice, and I like how it brightened my under eye. I like a very bright under eye, so I always go for a little bit of a lighter um, color in my concealer. I don't like it to match perfectly to my foundation. I was scared the color was going to be off as well, because when it comes to me ordering concealers online, whew, it can be very hit or miss. But luckily, Sephora does a really good job of including like really detailed descriptions on um what to get so i like the fact that i really know kind of detail wise what i like and then what i do is i'll save it so like i'll save um my results for this like that the concealer that worked for me so that if i'm trying to buy a concealer from another brand i can make sure that i um kind of look for words that's one of my favorite concealers that have worked for me already say in the description. So that's what I like to do. Okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and dust away the powder on this side. And with any like residue, I like to kind of take it downwards 
um, to the rest of the face just to kind of like set it a little bit further. We have the concealer. I have to say I really like how the concealer looks on the skin. Definitely a full coverage finish. Um, I'm gonna have to continue using it to see um, about how hydrating it can be. But I do have to say one thing that does show me that it is a hydrating concealer is that it worked really well with my powder. Whenever I use products that aren't as hydrating, they tend to really make the product look super thick on top of the under eyes. Sometimes it even makes the product separate, um, but I can tell that this is hydrating because my under eyes still look like under eye. They don't look like a heavy, thick layer of face makeup. Now we're gonna just finish off the face. I don't have any new products, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera real quick because you guys know the drill. It's pretty much the products that I've been using to warm up my face and everything in every other video. So there's nothing new. Um, you guys are not missing anything, I promise. And then we can go ahead and finish off the eyes because I do want to do a little bit of under eye and move on to the lipstick, which I'm really excited to share what lipstick I picked up because... Okay, so I went ahead and finished off the bronzing and the blush and of course some highlight. Um, so I will have all of these listed down below in my description box for you guys. And I also went ahead and just applied some accessories and just got ready so that I can just look presentable for you guys to end this video. Um, so real quick, before we go into the lipstick, I wanna quickly talk about the Supreme Nudes palette one more time because I will be going in and just doing a little bit of work on the lower lash line. Um, I think for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Transcend, 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 transcend and i'm just going to be applying that on our lower lash line to kind of add a little bit of a smoky effect uh, just a touch i don't want it to be too intense because i feel like the top of the eye just speaks for itself so well that i just don't want to like disturb too much from it guys i'm like obsessed with my hair ever since i got my revlon one step dryer and then the hair mask i just feel like it just made my hair is so manageable like I'm just like wow like I'm here for the sleigh and the last thing we're gonna go ahead and do is take the shade exposed this really pretty matte like cream shade and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that right up here on our brow bone to kind of create like a cute little brow bone highlight you know but overall, I really love this palette. I feel like it's good. It's definitely going to be my go-to for 2020, I feel like, because I love those neutral shades. I also love those pops, but I mainly stick to that color scheme, especially like as I get older, I feel like I'm more inclined to use colors that are like everyday wearable earthy tone colors than use colors that are more so like super loud because I just that's not something that I would wear on a day to day. Now we're going to move on to lipstick. I was mentioning that I really wanted to try the Gucci lipsticks, the bougie lipsticks. I wanted to be a bougie queen with my bougie lipstick in my purse. So I went ahead and purchased this Gucci lipstick. Um, so they have their satin collection, they have their matte collection, and I think they have like a metallic -y collection. So I went ahead and went with the satin because I feel like you can never go wrong with the satin lip. So I purchased this, I wanna say this was like 40 bucks and I purchased this for 33 something with the coupon. Went ahead and got this in the Painted Veil. Um, and the reason I got this one is that I had my eye on this since I saw Katie and Desi, especially Katie. Katie posted a lot about the Gucci lipsticks. Um, she posted that really pretty red sparkly one during the holidays and I was like, that looks beautiful. But I know I just wanna get use out of it. And if I'm gonna be spending a good amount of money on a lipstick, I'm gonna want a lipstick that I'm gonna get use out of. So then I saw Desi Perkins did a tutorial and she used the Painted Veil, and her and I are around the same skin complexion, so I was like, let me check this out. So I went with this one. I mean, look at this packaging. The school packaging is everything. So I'm gonna be applying this in the Painted Veil. I haven't even swatched it or anything. It says Gucci on it. Like, am I a bougie queen or what? I mean, this is this is everything. And a lot of you guys were like, girl, like go get yourself the Gucci lipstick, like do it. This is the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the lip balm that we had through the whole tutorial. Um, I have to say now that I've worn the lip balm for the whole time of me applying my makeup and talking to you guys, I'm really impressed with it. I do feel like this is actually better than the Kopari one because I feel like the Kopari one, as I was talking, I noticed that like, it would ball up by the end of me applying my makeup. So I definitely feel like this one by Summer Fridays definitely feels a little bit more lightweight and consistency. 
and really just stays on your lips doesn't feel sticky whatsoever so i'm going to be applying this lipstick i actually don't know what lip liner i want to use i think i'm just going to stick to actually what do i want to use i have so many lip liners in here that i'm just like i never know you know actually i'm going to do girls trip by kylie cosmetics and now we can try out the lipstick that i've been waiting for this better impress me. I'm so screwed. I don't want to ruin the Gucci little logo. Happy that it's lighter than the lip liner because then you can see the dimension between the lipstick and the lip liner. I was worried it was going to be the same color as a lip liner, but it's not. That's pretty. I feel like the painted veil on my complexion and maybe a little bit more darker, it will definitely look like the color of your lip which i feel like is great especially when you have like these bold eyes and you're looking for something a little bit more neutral on the lips so that it's not like there's a lot going on but you don't want to do a nude i think this is absolutely beautiful i definitely feel like if you're more on the fair side um it may look a little bit more of a burnt red like a brighter color and then i feel like on somebody that's darker than me like much darker than me it'll look like a really nice um, brownie nude. Happy that I went with the satin formula instead of the matte because I feel like matte lipsticks, if you don't try them in person, they can be very hit or miss. They can be like super duper dry and just feel very uncomfortable. Um, as opposed to a satin lip, you can never go wrong with a satin lipstick because you know it gives you that very creamy consistency. Now, you guys did see that I mentioned that I was obsessed with my Artist Couture lipsticks. Um, I purchased the Saucy Gal on Sephora.com and I was obsessed, you guys saw me, and then I purchased Angel Baby, which is the more so nude color that you can put kind of like in the center of your lips. So I'm gonna be putting this on the center of my lips. This one kept being sold out. I was like so frustrated. I literally signed up for the um, notify me when it's back in stock. Oh God, and I wasn't able to get this. I actually got this from artistcouture.com, but I wanna mention it right now because I've also been loving these and I did purchase one of them from Sephora.com. It, it gives it pretty like, just like a really nice distribution of color right here. Like I just love, I'm happy with this. So yeah, this pretty much completes the entire face of new products that I have purchased at Sephora. I love how everything turned out. I'm really happy with my purchases and I'm happy that they all worked for me because when you purchase online and you're not really seeing things in person, it's hard to know if it's going to end up working. Um, but I'm glad that out of all the things that I was able to purchase during this for sale, I had some really amazing products because I mean, my face right now is snatched. Like I'm ready to go take some pics and just slay the game. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate every single person that takes time out of their day to watch my videos. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Jessica and I make beauty videos every single week, typically twice to three times a week because I, I love being consistent. We love a consistent queen, right? So please go ahead and subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. And also while you're at it, make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video because I mean, I got you guys covered in all things beauty. So that being said, I hope that you have a beautiful day. Stay safe and I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.